it everybody, it is me Alexa and today I'm going to be talking about Godzilla vs. Kong. Godzilla vs. Kong is directed by Adam Wingard and is of course the fourth in our MonsterVerse that we've had going on since the 2014 Godzilla, continuing on to Kong Skull Island and Godzilla King of Monsters. Uh, this is probably my favorite of those four so far and we're going to talk a bit more about why in a moment. And really quick before we do, I want to let y'all know that this is a spoiler free review so if you have not seen the movie yet, decide on what to think about it before you go and jump on in. Feel free to keep on watching. I promise not to ruin anything for you. So one of the reasons that Godzilla vs. Kong is probably my favorite of the four is it knew exactly what it was. Unlike the King of Monsters film, which I did really love, um, it did not try and focus on the human story and the human characters as much, which was admittedly the worst part and my least favorite part of the King of Monsters film. Uh, this one was like, all right, we have big old monsters, they're gonna fight and that's what you're here for. They did still have some human moments and overall the dialogue was a bit cheesy and a little bit over dramatic a lot of the time, um, both in its uh, the line itself and the delivery of it. Um, all the actors though did a fine job. I wouldn't say any of them did poorly, um, but it is just a little bit over dramatic and cheesy, which is the nature of the style of film though, so not too upset about that. I do however want to give a shout out to one actress who really shined in this movie and it is the one who plays the little girl Gia. Her name is Kaylee Hoddle and she did a spectacular job. She almost brought me to tears with one scene. So I was very impressed with her, um, especially um, in a film where most of the acting was very passable. Um, you know, it just kind of happened. There is no really standout performances from anyone else in it besides her, in my opinion. Um, and so that moment with her that she had, and a few moments throughout, she just constantly, her emotions in her face, uh, she's a deaf girl, so she only can use sign language, so it's all in her face, the emotions and her expressions, and she just kills it all throughout. Huge, huge, huge props to her. Um, she was the only human I liked in the film, was the joke I made, because the rest were fine. I didn't dislike any of them, besides, you know, the bad guys who you're supposed to dislike, um, but, like, the heads of the company and all that. But, you know, she just, she really stood out to me as a spectacular performance in the film, so I wanted to make sure to mention that. But now let's talk more about those monsters. <laughs> so, in King of Monsters, we started to see some epic fights, but I think that this film took it to a whole other level. There were some truly creative shots. They really utilized their CGI. I mean, a lot of it was cute and computer, obviously. Like, giant portion of this film was all computer made um, and digitally crafted. But they did so really creatively and so detailed, like Godzilla has never looked better in this. Uh, he just looked incredible. Like from the first time we see his mouth, it was like so detailed and realistic looking. It's almost like weird. It like seems like you're watching real stuff, but it's all computer generated. It's a little crazy how detailed it is now. <laughs> and Kong as well looked great. Um, he's a little bit older in this one than I was expecting. Um, but you know, his beard, he looks wise and he, he's, he's doing great still. He's fit. Um, and he's, he's looking nice and good and huge and realistic. He's ginormous in this. Whenever you have Godzilla and Kong, as you may have seen in the trailer, that's why I'm not viewing this as a spoiler. Their side, they're like the same size and it's so epic. Their fights and the way that they move through the fights and the different shots and the different angles that we get are just gorgeous to watch. There's this one shot near the end, I won't go into more detail about it, but like you're looking over someone's shoulder and there's someone else in the distance and it is beautiful. It's near, like right near the end of the film. You'll know it if you've seen it or you'll see it when you watch it. It's, it's a gorgeous shot and there's many, many creative movements and uh, camera angles that they got and some of them they were able to achieve because it was computer. It was just all like done with computers so they could uh, get creative and get inventive with it and I think that uh, Adam Wingard and everyone else involved with the film did a great job of creatively utilizing all the tools that they had at hand. My biggest uh, negative about the film is that I wasn't able to see it in theaters because I mean seeing this I would love to see this in IMAX it would have been incredible so if you have the option of seeing it safely in theaters near you I would 100% recommend that viewing experience because um, while it was still of course really fun watching it at home it it, I mean, there's so much big stuff that happens that seeing it in theaters would truly be the best experience for it. So definitely recommend that if you are able to. But if not, it's still really enjoyable at home and I had quite a fun time watching it. I do have to quickly brag a little bit, and this is minor spoilers if you did see my trailer reaction, um, but I guessed almost entirely right. I was wrong about a couple small things. I was wrong about um, one smaller thing, but my overall guess of the story was right. So, ha. Huh. 
no one really said I was gonna be wrong, but I'm still happy that I was right. <laughs> Another, this is a semi-spoiler thing, but I won't go into details about it. Um, there will be an article written over on our greatwhiteandco.com that Sri's writing up uh, that'll go into more detail what I'm about to say, but uh, one thing I found interesting was Adam in many uh, interviews discussed how he wasn't a fan of Batman vs Superman and that was something that he kept in mind while making this um, was he didn't want it to be like that. But uh, I don't think he necessarily succeeded in it. Uh, there's many moments and many things that happen that are, uh, in my opinion, very similar. Again, I can't really go into details about how without going to spoilers. So if you want to hear more about that, um, once the article is up, I'll have a link in the description. Or you can just keep checking back at greatwhiteandco.com. The article will be up by the end of this week. Where Sri is going to be giving all of his thoughts on it as well as kind of giving a bit more of an in-depth look at how it is similar to Batman vs Superman. Because he is a huge fan of that film. So left that one to him. So the story of the film was pretty straightforward. Um, there wasn't anything too spectacular in that front. The reason that you watch this film, the thing that sets it aside, is the beautiful fight scenes and the wonderful graphics and everything else about it there. Um, that is why you watch this film and that is what makes this film epic. So I went into this film expecting there to be an okay story, which there was. You know, it's a little bit straightforward, but it was a good story. It kept, the, it kept the momentum going at all times and it never really felt halted or had any bad moments in it at all. A little bit cheesy at times, a little bit dramatic, but it's kind of what you expect from it. And the main thing that I wanted from this was some epic fights and it more than delivered on that. I was extremely impressed by the every single fight scene that they had. It was so engaging to watch visually and choreography wise, like the movements, how they did it, the different like uh, techniques that they utilized and the way that the different characters moved. It was so engaging to watch always. And so I came to this movie wanting epic monster fights and they gave me even more epic monster fights than I could have imagined. So I was extremely satisfied by the end of this film. It was dope. There's multiple times I texted friends. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, you can check my Twitter. Um, I like I, before I even finish the film. There's one moment that happens, and I just typed in all caps, "Hell yeah!" Uh, hashtag Godzilla versus Kong, and then I, you know, talked a bit more about it afterwards. But yeah, I mean, I love this movie. I really enjoyed it. It's not perfect by any means. There's a lot of flaws in there, especially with the human characters. But when it came to epic monster fights, they nailed it, and that's what I went there for, and that's what they gave me. So. No real complaints here. So because of all those things considered, it is going to be getting a Tiger Shark rating because it had these epic, amazing monster fights that puts it really high up in the list of great films, but still had the cheesy, not so great human parts. So I'm glad that they didn't focus on that as much. They did make a better balance between it, uh, meaning focusing more on the cool fights. <laughs> so I really did appreciate that. And I think this movie was really well done, definitely enjoyable, but it's by no means uh, perfect. So definitely not in that top tier category, but really, really, really enjoyable. So so if you want to watch some epic monster fights, definitely check out this film. It is one of the best monster fights I've seen, and the CGI in it is beautiful to look at. I mean, I was extraordinarily impressed constantly with this movie and the way that it looked. So if you haven't seen it yet, yes, I would recommend that you go and watch it. And if you have seen it, let me know all of your thoughts on it down below in the comments. But as always, if you're going to leave any spoilers, make sure to be out a spoiler warning in front of it so we don't ruin the movie for anyone else. Thank you very much in advance. And thank you for watching this whole video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and check out our Patreon link in the description below. And I hope you all are staying safe out there and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.